even expecting you. Babo Conquering Mega Eagle welcomes you. Today we'll be looking at an inertia seat belt with a belt tensioning device. Recently removed from a Peugeot 206. Um, the car features in other videos we're producing. Um, but today we're going to look at the, the belt specifically. <coughs> operation and, uh, and and maybe have a think about other potential uses for this explosive device. We'll start the disassembly. Uh, um, yeah. Security bits, so they obviously you don't want you having fun with it. Um, that one here. The seatbelt operates as any other inertia belt operates, um, it won't allow the, the belt to unwind if the uh, if the if the mechanism is at an unusual attitude. Watch yourself as a spring just about to pop out. Um, also, if the belt is pulled suddenly, it will restrict any further deployment. Unusually, for old seat belts anyway, I believe it's becoming the norm. This belt will tension up when uh, yeah. when the uh, when the when the what when uh, when the when the car's aware of there being a crash. So uh, whatever whatever sets that off, I don't know. Maybe a G meter or sensors on the bumper, something like that. Also sets the airbag off, but um, we'll, we'll pull back on this belt to uh, even even restrain a, a, uh, a sixteen stone man mountain like me from uh, from from botching his his noggin on the uh, on the steering wheel. So uh, it's not meant to come apart. Um, okay, that's the cover, the spring. Um, so now there's no there's no spring tension on the belt. This is the, the tensioning system. So we have a, a electrical connection here, um, very similar to those on the on the airbags, as you can see in our other videos. Um, a small charge here. And inside this tube, there's a, um, a number of a number of spheres, different materials though. Um, You can see the uh, little plastic stop pin there, which will be destroyed when the first ball pushes past it. We're just going to pop it out, show you the balls. Do you want to see my balls? Um, there we go. All these, all these balls. These are actually aluminium. Um, aren't they pretty, eh? Uh, these are aluminium balls. Um, I suppose the idea is that uh, gas pressure pushes these balls out of the tube, and the, the fascinating bit pushes the balls over this. Uh, over this gear with spear shaped indents on it. Um, the balls end up in this little canister uh, and they've been shot over this wheel but if you consider my weight at 16 kilos, 16 kilos I wish, uh, 16 stone um, multiplied by a hundred fold I suppose if, uh, if I'm in a crash situation, probably more than that um, the power transmitted from the explosive by these balls into this wheel against this belt onto my chest is enough to, to not only uh, meet the force of me in a crash but exceed it and pull me back into my seat so that's the operation um, that's the charge stay tuned uh, for exciting new videos on how we can perhaps employ this charge uh, in our fun projects that you should not try at home. Thank you very much. Bravo Conquering Mega Eagle.